Hi, I'm Brad Cox with BradCoxWorkshops.com, and uh, this week I want to just give you some new information, some new news with Adobe. Adobe has just released Adobe Stock, and if you are a Creative Cloud member, uh, you probably have seen this new way of pulling basically files into your uh, Adobe Creative Cloud library. So the library is a really neat new feature, which means you can put uh, a brush, uh, maybe like your signature, various things. You can put this in your library, it then syncs across all of your Creative Cloud devices, and you can then access that across devices. So for instance, if you have multiple computers, right, those, those files become linked to whatever documents. And if you update your library, it basically updates all of those files throughout. Well, Adobe's just come out with now Adobe Stock because really getting stock photography has been kind of a mess, right? <laughs> There's like multiple tiered pricing, like what are you using it for? How big is the file? You know, you pay for one size, but then you actually need it bigger. Now you gotta pay for more, whatever. So Adobe Stock now is just one price. Uh, and you can actually do subscription or you can do a per image fee. So a lot of uh, people that subscribe to me or maybe photographers, you're creating content, like you can submit to Adobe Stock and sell images. And maybe uh, designers tend to use stock photography more, but occasionally, like I need a stock photo. Most of the time when I'm designing, it's maybe like I shoot a politician, now he needs a website and I'm taking his images designing up like a simple website. Or I, maybe I shoot a musician and now they need that photo into a CD design. So I take that same photo, design it up. But occasionally I'm doing a composite, a multi-image composite. Maybe I'm doing like, coming up, I'm gonna be shooting like this little aqua mask, but we gotta make it look like it's in somewhere, some paradise location on the beach. And rather than fly to the beach, right? Download a stock photo, you know, do some uh, right kind of lighting and, and composite those uh, various things together. So with uh, Adobe Stock, it's really, if you just want to do one image at a time, it's like 10 bucks a photo, and then that'd be for you to use it and design it, and if the client likes it, it'd be charge them 10 bucks, get a second license for them, and that can be for really any use, which is pretty nice. There's also monthly fees if you're doing a lot of stock photography. I'll post those things, but really it's a neat and really simple way of getting one file, one resolution, and to be able to use almost in any way you want. So check that out, Adobe Stock.